Woke up this morning, <clears throat> bit of a problem, I'd fired up the fire last night. Uh, you might notice it's all sutted up again, it's going to take me hours to clean that. But what happened was the actual stovepipe above it was full of oil builder's rubble, <clears throat> vernaculite. There was a huge brick in there that took about an hour, maybe it's even two to dislodge. But anyway, I got it working, fired it up, went to bed last night and I woke up this morning and ta -da, we have a bit of a problem. Um, this is only slightly dripping now, it was absolutely pouring in earlier. But yeah, there's, uh, I think it's one of the overflow pipes from upstairs, from the fire or whatever, is burst or it's leaking or whatever. But it's, it's a nightmare. We've got damage to the ceiling. We've got damage to my kitchen units that I bought in. We've got damage to a car seat that I bought that's brand new, 190 pounds. Not even out of the bike packaging, it's, it's a Cybex Solution Q fix, 290 quid. And that's damaged before I even get it in the car. But anyway, yeah, there's uh, a bit of a problem there. It's only filled up a little there, but it was absolutely streaming in early when I actually got up. I don't know what's done to the floor, I don't know what's done to the ceiling. We've been, we've been in touch, well, I've been in touch via text with Andrew and he hasn't replied. And, well, I have to go to work, that's the worst thing about it, I have to. A really really important morning this morning where we're looking around looking at building works would you believe it work and i'm booked in for that i'm going to leave the keys in the outside privy and hopefully you can get in and resolve it quite frankly i'm not really happy anyway hopefully this will resolve itself Brilliant.